Hey, this is Zyda Rose for Game Shampoo, and today, well, today you actually get to see the season journey. I'm showing this because we're down to just two more objectives in the first chapter. Just a hobby, raising the jeweler to level 10, and forged in fire, reaching level 50. And given the high level of our Necromancer Primus Rose, there's a very good chance we will actually hit level 50. That's going to be pretty awesome. Yep, 46. Resuming the game. So, oh, it remains we're at the highest difficulty I can manage until I complete Act 4, at which point higher difficulties will open to me. Once they do, I'm going to step it up carefully. Just kind of out of habit, because... Yeah, I like where this is going. I'm enjoying where things are. I don't want to... Really? Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm responding to the NPCs there. The There's someone being kind of stupid. <sighs> Smart. Okay, down we go. Down and away we go. To be exact. Can't trigger some stuff I want to do just yet. Other stuff I can totally do already. There we go. Ooh! Peeved something off, which is actually interesting to peeve off. Soul Rippers. Oh, Soul Rippers. These are really awesome. I like these things. Kill a couple things. Rip some bones out to augment my stuff. And then leaping on top of their victims. Come here. At this point, the Ripper cannot be deterred. It has begun to feast. Wrath the Fiend. Oh, it's cute how you thought teleporting me was going to save you. No. No, nothing. Throwing at me was about to do something. Boost the bone armor. Uh well, no. it was meant to garrison three thousand. Barely a third of that was here when the demons came. How unfortunate. Men and their leaders fear to prepare for a catastrophe because they believe it will bring one about. Fools. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Cormac. I enjoy your commentary. Nice. Speed boost. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I pulled off that achievement. Within uh, the game itself, there's an achievement for getting a couple soul rippers to latch on to you at the same time. Pretty sure I got that. Ooh, three more levels. Three more levels to reach one of the remaining two objectives. Skeletal Mage life support. Huh. Stuff to investigate later, I'll say that. Ooh, what is this pylon? Protection pylon. Reducing the damage I take by 25%. Embraces you. Okay. Means I can just wait in there. Kill everything. Ooh. I did not maintain my skill. No. Bone armor adequately. Let's see. There's a chance down here. We'll encounter 
An event I like very much. There's a blacksmith working here. Now, since it's a random event, though, by no means is it guaranteed you can come across it in any given playthrough. It's kind of like uh, earlier in the series when I came across the crumbling vault. That's a lot of fun to do. It's really hard to do, too. But I seem to be setting the right pace. So it's not as bad as it could be to do something like that. I still feel like, you know, I'm overpowered. Which is a weird, weird thing to be thinking. And for, you know, what I consider to be one of the most difficult modes to play in since I am running around with a necromancer. New class. And, uh, if I die, I'm dead. I mean, that's, in my mind, the inevitable fate of any hardcore character. They're going to die. It really is a question of when and how. One oh, yeah, the demonic, demonic tremor. I like these. these behemoths They're interesting to fight. Pounding the earth with their Ooh, massive, massive drop. Many a siege has been broken in uh, damage is not really worth it. If it dropped something wrath. else, I, I would go for it. That our Minions. The men actually think that they can hide behind their paltry little walls. Yeah, it's but adorable, isn't it? A glimpse of the full host of hell. We will see them drown in our tide of sin. The girl is still weak, and their hero will not expect us to attack from below. Send in the ravening beast. Ah. <sighs> whole reason it's so easy for me to forget about the bone armor is the one minute timer. And there's nothing really taking it down beyond the little bar I get on the bottom. And because it's only a little bar at the bottom, it's easy to forget about. That... That sounded like something I wanted to find and kill specifically. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm here. I'm gonna take my time killing you. Rip some bones while I'm at it, too. Ooh, yes. That was worth it. There we go. Yeah, I thought I'd heard the treasure goblin. It was good to know that I'd caught it properly. <laughs> yes. <sighs> the minions of hell stand no chance here. Like, literally, they don't. It's kind of nuts. Use them standing at least a little of a chance. Something of a chance. Uh, no. Oh, even without my Paragon levels. Most of the time, that's the thing which really will help push something over the edge, over the top. It's my Paragon levels where the where most of the power comes from. No, no, those, that was just from your general foes running about, screaming, blowing into the lady beauty chunks. Nope. Wait, there were greens. Pure greens. Ooh, increases bone armor damage opposed to grim sight. I will take a boost to bone armor. Because bone armor is really useful. I'm going to try and have it active as much as I can. All right, this can go a few ways, so let's find out which way it's going. Uh, 
Oh man. There are a lot of dead guardsmen here. It's I'd say disheartening. But most of the things coming at me don't last that long. It's like, oh, you're trying to kill me. That's cute. Let me show you how it's done. Huh. Ooh. Demon Raiders go down like wheat. Before the scythe. Alrighty. Go for the guardsmen that I missed. This is accurate. That's about to wear off owing to just a lack of foes to fight. And that's... oh. That's cute. <sighs> I'm gonna keep checking those bodies. Yeah, so I wanna head to uh, the left, essentially. Your death nears. Huh. Okay, looks like I do want to front load that damage a little more. I'm actually seeing the difference. Huh. Your death nears. There we go. Bring it on! You actually a thing useful? Nope. I'm gonna go down pretty quickly. Ooh! Illusionist Desecrator! Oh. Do they all drop corpses? That... Oh! No, I finally found the original and killed it. Huh, and yeah, most of them do drop corpses. That makes the necromancer feel really broken. Give it more time. Right, true, I did just use it. Ah, yes. The night embraces you. <laughs> I have been fortunate enough to learn much of the barbarians' complicated history in my time. Yet the origins of these large, mighty warriors are hazy at best. Legend holds that they are the offspring of Volkathos, an ancient who embodied their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage. You are too late. My servant is already inside your walls. Okay. Yeah, adorable. You're not. It's not gonna last that long. This won't take that long. I just gotta find them. Um, <sighs> I do prefer getting multiple objectives cleared, but one big one also works. I know things are going to slow down in the next act or two. This world can abide you no longer. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> How cute you think your shielding's going to protect you against the wrath of this necromancer? How are we doing space-wise? Pretty good. Bone spear damage, bone armor stuff. Not enough to really tempt me. Say that. Let's see. Huh. 
That thing must have been flying a while. Saw a sword come plummeting down nearby me. Ah, I went the wrong way. Probably well, gonna have to refresh my bone armor at this rate. It's easy enough to maintain it with its short cooldown. It's only what, 10 seconds? Yeah, it's like 10 seconds. There we go. Man. <laughs> How cute. You think knocking me back's going to stop me? Do not fear the end. Wow. Oh, I was going the wrong way. Wanted to go more southernly. I'm afraid not. True. For that ability to function, it needs a living target. And given I killed everything in that room very quickly, there were... one would find a distinct lack of living targets. Kind of a problem. You a fine corpse. Wow. Uh oh. I understand so much more now. Ah <sighs> god, all the times I've died from stuff like that. And I know I should pay mine to it. Oh, hey! Nightmarish and plagued. They should have run when they had the chance. They really should have Cormac. With you around, we might just beat these demons after all. I like encouraging this thought. Bone spikes. Boost intellect and vitality. Which I can augment further. Very, very easily. This will help. Okay, yeah, there was enough going on. I couldn't properly pay attention to the numbers I needed to. Damage. A good choice. Yeah, damage is dropping when I go there. Damage is increasing when I equip that. And I want the damage up high. I know I'm not accounting for every little thing I should. If any given choice, but yeah. That would take a long time. And when I'm doing this, I don't have that long time. I have like up around half an hour, occasionally longer, if it's really good. Now I honestly try and take care of a lot of the equipping stuff off screen, unless it's, you know, the plain and simple, oh hey, let's deal with this, because this only really needs to be, alright, the numbers are better. Yeah, we're about to go fight and kill it fast. I'm gonna let its cutscene run. Hey everyone, this is Gom. Gom was one of the two creatures I needed to kill. Because I have a secondary seasonal, I'd been... I started up in an attempt, so I'd be able to unlock a higher difficulty quicker. Well... Eh... Let's just go with it. 
took a while to it took longer than I thought and the necromancer was making far better progress than the other one Wow Largest of Asmodan's sin lieutenants, and he possesses no less than four mouths. Though his voracious appetite is certainly his greatest weapon, his bile and 25. Well, other noxious excretions are equally lethal. When last seen in battle, the Lord of Gluttony swallowed half a dozen angels whole, spears and all. There we go. Turn to Bastion Keep Stronghold. Empty victory over a user. Oh. Ah, it's going into the wrong place. You, you. Right. Don't I have. Yes. I do augment my life, augment my intelligence, stash the rest. Now, this is the stuff I don't mind showing because it's really quick. Place the thing, do the thing, done the thing. Thing done. Go here, stash. Quick mouse over stuff to look at numbers. Are all three of them green? Yes, no. Is it worth trying? And that takes a little more focus. And in this case, that chess piece very much. Yes, because Command Golem don't use Command Skeletons a lot. Right there, Command Skeletons. All right, quick talk with the Lieutenant. Ah, Tyrael went to investigate. All right, quick head to the armory. Kill the things in the armory. Really should have emptied more people out of there. The soul stone seems stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes, but for how long? Our time grows to the battlefield then. I like your thought process. Talk with Tyrael. Feel the keep shuddering. As no death. Saving these walls will have meant nothing if they're reduced to rubble. Indeed. I'll defend them. At last! I am once again filled. I remember countless battles. Light and darkness are essential to the balance. They must have been incredible battles. They were glorious. We win <laughs> our nice. eternal conflict since the light yeah. I appreciate what you were doing, Tyrael. Not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. I told you the demons would find a way up from underneath. I heard that hero slaughtered a huge fan. Okay, yeah, kinda of, you know, I'm at a good pausing point, so I actually think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, take care of uh the behind the scenes things, re equipping and all. So, this has been Zeta Rose for Game Shampoo. I hope you continue to enjoy this series. If you want to see me try something different, feel free to mention it in the comments, as always. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video, and that way you can keep up to date on this Let's Play series, and actually catch uh, bits of news when I can find the time to do that. Take care. Bye.